Question 6. Why does the iodine chloride have a higher boiling point than the bromine? Okay, when it's a boiling point, normally we will use the intermolecular forces. Okay, this is the main factors that affects the boiling point. Uh, it's not the covalent bonds between the atoms. So because uh, energy is needed to break the intermolecular force, then the molecules that can break free from each other. Okay, for A, because the difference in the bond energy of the covalent bond within the iodine chloride and bromine, uh, so this is not the main contributor for the boiling point. Right? So when the uh, this uh, covalent bond break means uh, it will decompose and will form at, uh, the elements or the atoms. And uh, B, so means A, not the answer. Okay, B, because the difference in the polar nature of the iodine chloride and bromine. Uh, for the iodine chloride, uh, because uh, chlorine is more electronegative and iodine is uh, less electronegative, so the partial positive will be on the uh, iodine, partial negative will be uh, on the chlorine. So uh, means uh, it will form the uh, PD-PD forces, a stronger uh, intermolecular forces. So because of these uh, stronger intermolecular forces form, then the boiling point is higher. Uh, so this is the main factors. Huh? So answer is B. Okay, so why C cannot? Because uh, of the difference in the numbers of electron uh, within the iodine chloride and bromine. Uh, the numbers of electron, if you check, uh, is actually uh, uh, same, 70. Um, so it's not really the main factor. Uh, because the difference in the relative um, molecular mass of the ICL uh, and uh, this uh, bromine. Uh, the molar mass is uh, quite close. Uh, it's, uh, uh, 162.4 and this one is uh, 159.8 uh, so the main factor is still uh, the this uh, polar nature different uh, polar nature between the molecules which cause a stronger intermolecular forces right okay, that's all thank you